If I right click at this point, I'm going to have the option to edit the toolbox component. So that means that we're pulling this component from the toolbox once again. We can change its properties here. And let's click OK. SolidWorks saves the second part in the folder we specified. Now let's right click, select Component Properties. Here's the location of our components. Let's cancel out and save our assembly. I'll accept the default name, click Save. OK, let's create some trouble now. I'm going to close the assembly. Here's the folder where my component was created, and here's my assembly. I'm going to select and delete this component. Let's click Yes. And let's reopen our assembly. Click Open, select our assembly, and click Open again. Notice that SolidWorks was able to recreate our component. When we right-click on it, as you can see here, let's cancel out, close the assembly, save all. This time, let's select the component and delete it from the folder. OK. I'll also delete it from the toolbox as well. Yes to confirm, and let's reopen our assembly. So go to Open, browse for the assembly, select it, and click Open. And now we've really got a problem. The component can't be found. Would you like to find it yourself? It doesn't exist in the toolbox. Let's click No. Mm -hmm.